in this part we will talk about diffusion let us first define it and then we will see how exactly this process takes place so diffusion is movement of particles of one matter between the particles of other matter or in very simple language we can just call or uh, define this diffusion as intermixing of particles of two different matters so we can also write this as intermixing of particles of two matters let us take some examples to understand how this diffusion takes place. Suppose the particle of matter is of one state. Say, we are talking about, say, gas particle is moving in another matter that is gas. So, this is the particle of one matter moving into the particle of other matter or gas particles moving in liquid matter or can gas particles move through solid matter so this is or these are the particles of one matter and we want to see how they move into the other matter gas into gas very simple when we take the example of atmosphere say oxygen in air so, oxygen particle that is oxygen is also matter, air is also matter. So, oxygen is moving between the particles of other gases which are present in the air. Gas in liquid, again a very common example which we see around us, carbonated drinks. When we see a bottle of maybe Coca-Cola or Pepsi or something, there is nothing which is visible except for the liquid. As soon as you open the cap, you start seeing that fizz coming out. Fizz is nothing but bubbles and the bubbles are of carbon dioxide. So, where was that carbon dioxide? It was actually in the liquid and when you open it, the carbon dioxide escapes and that is when you see the fizz. So, here carbon dioxide in carbonated drinks one more example where gas is in liquid that is oxygen dissolved in water this is one example the other example is oxygen dissolved in water see we take oxygen because we are able to breathe in the air but what about the animals like fishes who live in water they cannot they do not breathe air so how do they get oxygen they get the oxygen which is in water. So, this is gas particles, one type of matter. In water, another particles, another type of matter. Now, gas through solid looks very difficult because in solid, the particles are very close. The space is very less. The force of attraction is more. So, gases cannot pass through or move through the solid. Suppose there is a sheet of say a metallic sheet or a plastic sheet so gases cannot move through that plastic sheet or through the metallic sheet so this is like not possible second example liquid suppose our other matter is liquid and we want to see how this liquid moves through another matter that is gas or how liquid moves through liquid or can the liquid move through solid? Let us take examples of this. Liquid and gas. One matter is liquid, the other matter is gas. We are trying to see diffusion. So, when we use say a perfume, when we spray it, 
we find very tiny droplets and those droplets spread in the air. So, droplets means liquid spreads in the air. So, this example is mist or perfume. I am sure you have seen this mist many a times when it is extremely hot. They drop some water in front of big fans and those fans they throw or break that big drop into tiny droplets. That is called the mist. So, mist in air or perfume in uh, air. So, mist is liquid. This is our other matter that is air. Liquid and liquid. Uh, in the previous lecture, we talked about ink and water. So, ink is also liquid. Water is also liquid. Or we can say lemon juice and water. Ink or lemon juice in water. So, our one medium is ink that is liquid, other matter is water, again liquid. So, liquid in liquid. Now, can we see movement of liquid through solid? Again, if you take a metallic sheet and pour water on it, the water is not going to come through the metallic sheet. Reason? Particles of solid, they have a very strong force of attraction. They are very close to each other. So, there is no space. And if there is no space, how will the particles of other matter move? That means if the particles of solid are like this, then nothing can move through it. So again, here it does not seem possible. We will take one more example. Suppose our one matter is solid and it is moving through gas or liquid or through another solid. Let us take this example also. Solid through gas. When we see smoke, the carbon particles, unburnt carbon particles which are blackish, those, those are solid and they are moving through air. So, here the example is smoke in air or even dust particles in air. So, here we can have dust, dust particles in air. So, solid particle that is one matter moving between the particles of air, another matter. Solid in liquid, sugar in water. So, when you add sugar, it is solid particle and it is moving between the liquid particles. So, sugar or we can take salt also in water. Now, solid and solid, it is very difficult, but a very less type of movement can be seen. I will give you an example. What happens during our Diwali break? Nowadays, in most of the schools, we have this kind of whiteboard. But we used to have those traditional blackboards or the green boards where we used to write with the chalk. So, if you are using that board and if you have seen that board being used, what happens the day before our Diwali break? Everyone is excited for the break and you know the artists in our class, they write down happy Diwali and they you know draw flowers and multiple things. So, after the school gets over, we go home and the school staff also goes home. So, for a month almost or for 15 days or 8 days, whatever your break was, nobody was there in the school. Now, when you come back after the break, the staff also comes back on the same day. So, now the, what they do is they try to clean the board. They clean it, but you still see that faintly written Happy Diwali. You still see that faintly drawn flowers and all those things which we make on the board. That means the chalk particles, they went little inside that chalk board, but that is like very, very, very less. So, here we can take example of chalk in chalk board. It cannot be our white board kind of a thing. Because this is very smooth, nothing can go in. But this is a very, very, very slow process and visible only for some time. 
so those chalk particles have gone like maybe into one particle of the solid but if you wipe it two three times those are gone so now when we say diffusion one matter diffuses into the other matters this matter diffuses into the other matters and this also can diffuse so our definition is mixing of or intermixing of particles of two different matters now diffusion is or rate of diffusion how fast these particles will move will depend on many things those are termed as factors affecting the rate of diffusion that we will take up next.